chihuahuas. I hate them, and you probably hate them too. Like me, you probably first discovered your hatred for these demonic rats at your friend's house. Your friend invites you inside, you take off your shoes, and then it approaches. And once that starts, it never ends. Everything you do, this dog will bark at you for. Even if you just get up to use the bathroom, this dog will follow you and yap at you. And then even when you're inside the bathroom, you're not safe. This creature is waiting on the other side of that door, barking at you while you're trying to use the bathroom. You cannot escape it. And the craziest part about this is none of this makes sense. Chihuahuas typically weigh three to six pounds. How does this dog not realize you could kill it in a million different ways if you really wanted to? You could literally fit the thing in a blender. Okay, is, is that too far? And the owners of these dogs usually say something like, oh, that's weird. They're usually so sweet. Really? Really? Are you sure about that? I haven't met one chihuahua that hasn't tried to bite my ankles off. And supposedly, chihuahuas have the biggest brain to body ratio out of all dogs. Even with their massive, ugly heads, they still think it's a good idea to challenge everything they see. They'll even go after way bigger dogs in them. How does this tiny chihuahua think it has a chance against a 70 pound German Shepherd? If the German Shepherd really wanted to, it could rip the chihuahua's face off. How does it not realize that? And even knowing all of that, people still love these dogs. I don't understand it. Every year on Cinco de Mayo, people hold chihuahua races. Chihuahua races. First of all, that is literally the equivalent of racing snails in the dog world. And second of all, why are we celebrating these things? They're not even cute. Like, they're really not. The only people I know who like these dogs are the people who own these dogs. So with hatred in my mind, I decided to find out who made these demonic creatures. Because, you know, most dogs are usually bred with a specific purpose. Like, for example, Australian cattle dogs herd cattle. Golden retrievers retrieve things. And then pugs only exist to suffer. You get the idea. But when I looked into it, I found out we don't even know where these hell spawn came from. And this just made me have even more questions. Like, did they used to be wild? Was there just hordes of chihuahuas hunting animals like wolves do in a pack? How strong would they even be in a pack, right? Could they take on a wolf? <laughs> A bear? <laughs> a gorilla? <laughs> like, how did they survive when some of them weigh less than a big gulp? At the end of the day, I genuinely believe chihuahuas are hellspawn. So, I have a proposal for anyone who's considering getting a chihuahua. Instead, get a pet rock. They weigh less, so they're easier to carry around. You don't need to feed them. They won't bite people's ankles and they won't ever bark at people that you invite over to your house. And, and this is the best part, this is the best part. You can race them. Is hey, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please like the video and subscribe and comment what you wanna see next. And the next video I'm doing is about a really, 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 really bad anime.